Hello, everyone. You're listening to Unlocking Greatness Podcast with Zenja Glass. Feel free to call me Z. If you're watching this video, you see that I'm holding a red cup, uh, well, a cup filled with some sort of a red liquid. And then I'm holding um, this clear glass. Uh, and inside this glass is just filled about halfway with just clear water. And it's very easy for me to be able to see through it. And I want to do a demonstration so that this makes sense. I am now pouring what's in this red cup uh, into this bowl, and I want you all to pay attention and see what happens. This is what happens when we allow uh, negative people to, uh, I guess I should say, intrude our space or be around us or influence us, the decisions we make, you know? This, this is what happens when, 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 we, when we allow negative people to pour into us. You know, when we're just surrounded by it and we're not shielded or guarded against it. You see how now this water is now kind of red? This is what happens. This is what happens when our prayer life begins to suffer. You see how I'm pouring into here? This is what happens when our prayer life begins to suffer. Everything is distorted. Because as we see through this bowl now, as you can see, this bowl is now red. You know, the liquid is no longer clear. Even your decisions that you make, Every single decision that you make and every single thing that you do, it becomes distorted. Even the way you see yourself. You notice how I hold the bowl up to my, my, my eyes and I'm looking. I can't even see through it anymore because I don't have, I don't have enough of a, of a prayer life uh, to even be able to discern what's happening in the spirit. Does that make sense? I, 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 don't, I don't have enough, uh, uh, I guess I could say biblical knowledge or enough um, power behind me just to know that mm -mm, I can't have this person in my life right now or no 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 that advice this person is giving me is not actually good advice for me to take you know it becomes harder to handle situations even at work you know perhaps we're dealing with the boss or somebody that's just very critical and very negative we don't have anything to stand on we don't have the word of God to stand on because we're not remembering a simple passage or two or we're not spending that time in prayer and walking with God so this is what happens. Let me finish pouring everything into this bowl. So now I'm holding up the same bowl that used to be filled with clear water. And you notice, can you see that? You see how hard that is to, to see through that? And I'll be the first to admit, this is how I've lived my life at times. In fact, I just recently went through a cloudy moment where now I'm able to see clear. And my, my purpose in doing this little short video is this. Let me get this other bowl. Now I'm holding up another bowl. And this bowl is completely clear and you can see the water that's in it and, it and it's just pure. You can see straight through it. Right. My purpose is to just encourage you to spend time in the presence of God, spend time in prayer, spend time uh, getting to know your word so that you can actually be able to see clearly. I'm on a mission right now. I'm going to be very transparent with you all. I'm on a mission to really spend more time with God than I've ever done before. You know, that starts off from going on long prayer walks in the morning, at least a good hour to two hours of just a prayer walk, of listening, of understanding who I am. And I'm on a mission now of studying out what does it mean um, in Revelations 510 when the Bible teaches us that we are priests and we are kings? What does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? What does that mean in Genesis 1? Uh, I can't remember the verse. It may be verse 25 or 26 that talks about how we have dominion and authority. What does that mean in 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10 when it talks about how we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation? What is that? What does that mean when, when is it in Revelations 8, uh, chapter, is it 17? Let me go to it really quickly. What does it mean when it talks about that we are an heir with God and that we are a co-heir with Christ? Is that Romans? Let me turn to it real quick. Not Revelations, but Romans. So give me a second. As you guys know, if I quote something wrong, somebody will say something. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and I think Romans is next. Romans 8. I've read it before, but I'm going to read it again. I think it's Romans 8. Uh, Romans 8, uh, yes. Uh, here it is, verse um, 16 and 17. The Spirit himself testifies with our, with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, this is verse 17, if we are children then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his suffering in order that we also may share in his glory. What does it mean to be co-heir? I'm on a mission to see clearly. I'm on a mission to look like this. And for those who are simply listening to the podcast, I'm holding up this glass bowl again with the clear water. 
I need to know the dominion, the power and authority that resides in me. And so do you. When, when, when the Bible teaches us about being kings and priests, what does that actually mean? You know, and, and my limited understanding, and I'm studying this out, I'm listening to some amazing apostles and, and God has really given me revelations. He's really making it clear to me to, to know the difference in the two. You know, the priesthood is almost like um, uh, what's between uh, man and let's just say um, the spiritual realm. You know, kind of like a mediator between the two. Does that make sense? You know, we pray, we fast and do all of that. Well, what is this kingship all about? Kingship is that influence, that power, that authority. Kingship is, wow, the nations are coming to you. Kingship is having an, an influence and an impact. You know, we, 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 we get the priesthood part pretty well, but we miss out on the kingship. What does that mean? And you may say, Z, where in the world are you going with this? This is why we end up seeing cloudiness when we don't know, really know who we are and we don't really get to spend that time with God like we need to. And we allow the world to shape us and impact us more than the word of God. And I'm holding up this, this glass filled with some sort of red substance in it. This is how the world looks to us. It looks as if, oh, my goodness, my job's not getting better. My boss is treating me this way. I don't know what's going on. I don't like my job. I don't like my life. I don't like what's going on. What, what, walking around with almost no power and authority, am I right? It, you know, it looks like I don't know if I can really pursue this dream or this ideal or, or whatever God has given me because I just don't have the money or the finances or I'm not quite sure about my talents or I tried it and it didn't work out and I don't quite know why it didn't work out. We're looking through this cloudy bowl. You see this? Because we don't understand the dominion and the power and authority that we have. Every single thing is spiritual. Everything. Today is the first day when I was on a very, very long prayer walk that God finally revealed to me about priests and kings. About I, 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 I've, I've, I've built you to be a priest and king. The prayer, the fasting, the commitment to God, reading your Bible, all that great. That all falls under the priesthood. But then that kingship. So, and what I was saying to God is, you mean telling me I have the power and the authority to rule over, to have dominion, to, to join, and here's what I'm going to get at when we talk about the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. I have the power and the authority to have some say-so in what goes on in my life and what's going to happen in my life. I know I may be drifting a little bit, but think, remember the conversation that, that uh, um, well, there's many, but let's talk about the conversation uh, about Job. Remember, you know, when, when Satan, he had that conversation and it was like there was a conversation happening in the spiritual realm about, have you considered my servant Job? Remember all of that? Remember Daniel? Remember Joseph? Remember all the things that they did when they went to God, Esther, when they went to God and they prayed before going out and doing something powerful? What were they doing? What were they tapping into? What was Daniel tapping into? What was Joseph tapping into? What was Esther tapping into? All of that is an understanding of the spiritual realm. I don't want to go over anyone's head and, and maybe I should have made this out to be a longer lesson. But remember, and is it Ephesians 6, 12? I'm going to keep citing this passage until you get tired of me citing it until the point where everyone remembers it. Ephesians 6, 12. My Bible is all, oh my gosh, coming apart now, but it's all here. But Ephesians 6, 12 teaches us for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And then it goes on to say, put on the full armor of God so that when the day, day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you've done everything to stand. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the authorities, I'm sorry, and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Remember the passage when, when, when God teaches us, um, is, is in, I think it's still back in Romans. I'm pretty sure it's Romans 8, I want to say verse 15. I'm going deeper than I wanted to. But Romans 8, 15, that talks about uh, the spirit that he gave us. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Let me get to it. Romans. Let me get my glasses back on. Remember in Romans 8, and I know I went over this the other day, but I'm doing it again. And Romans 8 verse 15 says, for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to, uh, to fear. Okay. But you received a spirit of sonship. What is this spirit of sonship that I now have? And by him we cry, Abba, Father. What is this spirit of sonship? What is that all about? 
Remember when I looked through, um, oh, and I wouldn't plan on going through all of this. When I looked through Galatians, is it Galatians 3.29? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. I always remember Galatians as go eat popcorn, so I have to always say that. So Galatians 3.29. Uh, and I read this the other day as well. Galatians 3.29 says, If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So what I'm, what I've, and I've not arrived. This is, this is things that I'm learning as I'm listening to some amazing apostles and I'm uh, spending time in prayer, letting the Holy Spirit speak to me. I am learning who I really am and I'm learning how to empty out all of the negativity and you know, when negative people come around me or when negative things are spoken over my life or I'm holding up this glass again um, of red, whatever, uh, when life looks a little cloudy to me, when it feels like life is happening to me and I have no say so, I am now learning more and more and more about priesthood and kingship, about being an heir of the promise, a co-heir with Christ, knowing what it means to have dominion and power and authority. I actually have a right to have say so over what's happening in my life. Nothing that happens in the physical hasn't happened already in the spiritual. And what I'm on a mission to do, and I pray that you all go on this mission as well. I am on a mission of not only learning who I am, the power and authority that I walk in, but being able to tap into that spiritual realm, if that makes any sense at all, and being able to declare in the name of Jesus Christ what should happen in my life. Being able to declare victories in certain areas of my life. Being able to declare protection for my family. Being able to declare even prosperity for my businesses. Not just so that I can sit and have all this money, but just so, so that I can also lift up God. Lift up God and bring his name to the nations. That's one of the main reasons I want this podcast to grow. Priesthood and kingship. Does that make sense? Yes, I love God and I'm committed to prayer, committed to Bible study and reading, but also there needs to be impact and influence that we have. There needs to be impact and influence that we have that is impacting the nations because I strongly believe the nations need to know who God is. So let me go back to the subject matter of this video. I didn't want to keep it long and I may have to break this up and come back and redo this again. I'm holding up this glass again. This is representing to me all the negativity that not only others feed me, but that I feed myself at times. And it's not a doubt in my mind. Many times it's simply because of a lack of wisdom and a lack of knowledge of the word of God. Spend time with him. Spend time in his presence. Pray and go before him and ask him, who are you? Ask him to show you. Now I'm holding up this clear glass that you can see clearly through. Ask him to reveal to you and show you who you are in the spirit. Who are you? What is this priesthood and kingship all about? What is this dominion, this power, this authority all about? You know, are we really supposed to walk in any kind of fear or doubt? Are we supposed to let the world impact us more than we do our walk with God? How do we handle when someone negative is coming into our lives? You know, I, I'm learning and I'm asking God to teach me and grow me how to rebuke the mess out of the spirit in that person and still love the person because the fight is in the spiritual, not in the physical. I'm praying to God this is making sense to somebody. It is time that we empty out the negativity in our lives, the negativity we receive from other people, the self-doubt, the negative things that we tell ourselves. And it is time that we get ingrained and we, we, we graduate. We go deeper in our walk with God. I recently dropped my, my son off um, for college. My youngest uh, went off to school. And that's a whole other subject. I'll talk about that at a different, in a different podcast. Um, but as I was driving away, um, several hours driving, coming back home, um, I said to myself, wow, he's graduated, you know, I'm, I'm walking away from this tall six foot, what three, you know, tall, big, almost like a football player, you know, kind of, kind of man. He's a big kid, you know, or young man, I should say. And I said, wow, he's graduated. And then something in the spirit said to me, and so have you, it's time that we graduate. It's time that we grow spiritually and that we begin to see things clearly for what they are. Stop fighting in the physical and fight in the spirit. Begin to proclaim things in the spirit. Begin to walk in this priesthood and this king, this kingship that's been given to us. So I'm going to end this because I went longer than I planned on speaking. I'm going to end it. I'm holding this bowl up again with all of this red substance in it. It is time that we stop seeing 
through this type of glass where everything is super cloudy and we don't even really know who we are because we can't see through it because we're so impacted and influenced by the world, negativity, uh, all of the negative things that people bring our way or things we read or I don't know, for some of us, it could be spending too much time on social media, you know, or, or too much time worrying and stressing about things. It is time that we empty out all of the negativity in our lives and that we dwell in the house of the Lord. I am commit. You guys are really going to get sick of me now. I am so committed to spending more time with my precious father. For those of you who have businesses and who are trying to grow your business or grow your platform or your product or your service or what have you, let me just say this to you and I'll do another podcast and I'll go deeper into this. If you sincerely put your focus in some kind of way where you can align with lifting God up, with making him the main focus, that doesn't mean you have to have some religious business and everything you talk about got to be about the Bible. But if you spend that time with him, he will lift you. He will give you a strategy that's unbelievable. Strategies that may, may not even be known to mankind. And God will blow behind whatever it is you're trying to do when he can find himself in your agenda. So many of us, and I've been there, trust me, have been seen through this kind of a glass. You know, it's foggy because we don't really quite get and we, we, we don't even know that we can command and pull down things in the spiritual realm that belong to us. That we can command that the doors are open, that our doors of destiny are open. Does that make sense to you? If you can just tap into that spiritual realm, praying, walking with God, asking him to reveal his scriptures and his knowledge to you. And, 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 and in your business plan or agenda, whatever it is you're trying to do. If, if, I, I just truly believe if God can find himself in your agenda, the provisions will follow. It's not even a doubt in my mind. We will be able to see clearly and we will see strategies and things that we didn't even know was there because now God has an agenda. He can find himself in your agenda. Does that make sense? So let's be committed to emptying out all of the negativity. Let's be committed to spending time with God, however that works for you, whether that's prayer walk. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm dedicating this whole month. I really want to dedicate about 30 days to studying out priesthood and kingdom, uh, kingdom, uh, or I guess I should say kingship, uh, dominion, power, authority, understanding the spiritual realms, understanding my place. Who am I? What do I have a right to say? You know? Uh, who, who am I really? That's what I'm studying out right now. That's my focus. Your focus can be whatever it is you want it to be. But whatever it is, spend time in the presence of God. Spend time in his word and ask him to show you how to empty out the negativity in your life so that you can see clearly. I hope this made sense. But anyway, I love you all. You know I do. You're listening to Z with Unlocking Greatness podcast. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening. This is Z with Unlocking Greatness podcast. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification button. Love you all. Bye-bye.